always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? Is it a sheep? That's right. It's a black sheep. Oh, I want to paint a black sheep too. Let's see. A little bit here. Oh! What's the matter, Hedgehog? My painting looks awful. It doesn't look like a sheep at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. I don't like my sheep. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. Wow, that's a lot of black. I didn't like how my sheep was turning out, so I made it a big fluffy sheep. I like it. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, can we make black the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting black. Which ant is black? The 
There it is. Black ant. Which dog is black? There it is. Black dog. Which feather is black? There it is. Black feather. Which bowl is black? There it is. Black bowl. Very good. I'm crunching leaves, but only black leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, Where is Lulu? When it's time to go to the library, Lulu tries to hide. I wonder why. Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Where is Lulu? Written by Mahale Mashigo. Illustrated by Clyde Beach. Designed by Nikosinga Field Mazipuko. Lulu, it's time to go, calls Ma. Oh, no. Where is Lulu? Is she under the sofa? Is she behind the curtain? <laughs> She's <laughs> under the lamp! Where is Lulu? Is she next to the stove? Is she in the cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> She's, She's on, on the, the shelf! shelf! Lulu, it's time to go. Where are you, calls Ma. <laughs> She's <laughs> under the bed! There you are. I don't want to go. We have to go, says Ma. But I really like this one. I really like this one, too. And this one. And this one. And this one. See? When you return books, you can borrow more. Yay! Where is Lulu now? <laughs> Holding her books! <laughs> that's right. And that's the end of the story. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Speckled Frogs. Frogs? Oh, like you, Mr. Frog. That's right. Today, you can all pretend to be frogs. I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many frogs did I say there were? Five! Good listening. Here we go. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing, too. How many frogs are there now? Four! Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log Eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was 
was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. How many? Three. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. How many? Two. Speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. How many? One. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum yum! He jumped into the pool. Was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Well done! Yay! <laughs> thank you for singing with me, and thank you too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hi, Ms. Panda. What are you doing? Hi, Monkey. I cut out all of these colored shapes, and now I'm sorting them. Can I help? I would love it if you helped. Thank you, Monkey. First, find all the purple triangles and put them in a box. Okay. Hmm. There's one. There's another one. This is purple. That's a square. We only want purple triangles. Oh, right. I forgot. There's one. Thank you, monkey. Now, let's gather all of the purple stars. Okay. Here. Here. And here! Splendid! Should I look for purple squares now, Ms. Panda? That's a good idea! Okay! Here, 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 and here! Great! And what's left? Two red shapes! Okay, let's put both of them in their own box. Okie dokie! No more shapes! Thank you so much, Monkey! What are all of these shapes for? Whatever we want. We can use them to make art projects. Ooh, I could use two triangles to make a bow tie. Look! <laughs> oh, Monkey, you look very fancy. Let's have a pattern party! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Patterns repeat! Patterns repeat! When I say a pattern, repeat to the beat. When we 
pattern party. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Do the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. 